Um, right, today uh, what we're going to look at is another shoulder blade um, issue. So this time we're going to look at a tilt. Um, we've got Emma in a good position here. You can see that the shoulder blade should sit nice and flat on the ribs when we've got good posture. So if I get Emma just to go into a slight tilt position, and we'll see this probably slightly better on this side, we can see that this lower angle comes out and actually I can get my fingers in between the shoulder blade and the rib. So the shoulder blade has tilted forwards. Again, it tends to be something that comes through a natural dominance postures. Unfortunately for everybody, we spend a lot of time sitting at desks and computers and pec minor gets very tight and pulls the shoulder blade forwards. Consequence of this tends to be it affects how your shoulder joint sits in the socket. Uh, when we're sitting at a computer, we tend to be overactive and shortened through this rotator cuff muscle here, which is the infraspinatus, and that pulls the head of the humerus forwards in the shoulder socket, and that can then lead to instability type problems, uh, pain at the front of the shoulder, uh, and that's sort of obviously driven as a secondary thing because the shoulder blade has fallen into this tilted position. So we want to make sure if we can come back into a good position, we want to make sure that we get that shoulder blade nice and flat and that bone at the bottom is not sitting out. So it's a nice easy one to have a look in the mirror or get someone to have a look for you and just make sure that you're standing nice and flat. If you're not, then there's some exercises we're going to go through to try and help correct that for you.